Hi guys, Yasas Ke Kalos Sirsate to another episode of Dimitra's Dishes. Today we're making another soup in the Instant Pot. We're making the classic fasolada, which is a white bean soup in a tomato base. It's so good, heartwarming, comforting, nutritious, and of course delicious. Let's get started. So I already finally chopped uh, a large onion. I'm gonna put it in the Instant Pot, along with three carrots that have been peeled and chopped. and three celery sticks. I'm gonna add about a quarter of a cup of really good quality olive oil and a little pinch of salt. Just mix everything up. Then you're gonna set the pot to the saute feature and they're gonna saute for about eight minutes or until they're nice and soft. They don't need to get a lot of color to them. So my veggies cook for about 10 minutes. Now over here I have some beans that I just soaked in the morning for like about an hour. I'm, I'm not soaking them today for this recipe just so I could show you how they turn out. These are fresh beans. I think they're great northern or cannellini. You can use either one or you could even use white navy beans. And then you just wanna drain that water out and add them. Before you do that, actually add the garlic. I have some garlic cloves here. These are four or five garlic cloves that I've grated. Just give everything a nice mix. I have two cans or 28 ounces of tomatoes. I usually puree them because we like really smooth uh, tomato sauce, but I said, what the heck, let's just put them in. They'll probably get really nice and soft in here anyway. A little bit of crushed red pepper flakes if you like them. Some black pepper. And some salt. I'm gonna start with one teaspoon of salt and then later on if they need more, um, I'm gonna go ahead and add more. Some people don't add salt because they say that the beans become tough, but in my experience, if you don't add salt in the beginning, the beans have no flavor. And then in the end, when you go to salt them, they just taste too salty because the, the salt doesn't really absorb. So always start off with some salt. And then we're gonna add water. You could add water, vegetable broth. If you're not keeping this vegetarian, you could even add chicken broth. So you want there to be enough water to cover the, the beans and then some, like maybe two inches more up over the beans. Put the lid on top and seal the vent so that way all the pressure stays in. Then you're gonna set it to cook on the pressure cook setting for 40 minutes. Once the 40 minutes are done, keep in mind, first of all, it is gonna take a little bit of time for the machine to build up to the pressure maybe about 10, 15 minutes or so. Then it's gonna pressure cook it for 40 minutes. After that, don't, don't release the pressure um, with the vent because you're gonna have a mess everywhere. Plus you want it to sit a little bit more so the beans can be nice and soft. So let it naturally release for about 20 minutes and then go ahead and move the valve to the vent position. So whatever steam is left inside, it'll just come out. Then we're gonna open it up and just add the final ingredients. In the meantime, I'm gonna clean up. All right, so while the soup is cooking, we're gonna go ahead and make the topping, which is gonna take this to the next level. I like to make a gremolata with this, which is basically some chopped up herbs and a nice zesty lemon olive oil dressing. It is so good. Not traditional with uh, fasolada, the Greek bean stew. We really like to just garnish it with some fresh uh, parsley and some dried oregano and call it a day. But this is gonna, like I said before, it's gonna make it extra delicious. The way to make this is very simple. You just wanna grate one or two cloves of garlic, nice and fine, put that in a big bowl. Get the zest of one lemon in there as well. And then you're just gonna to wanna to juice both of those lemons and add that to the bowl as well. Then we're gonna finally chop the leaves of a bunch of uh, fresh parsley. You wanna finally chop those. You can always do this in a food processor, but I didn't feel like washing one more thing, so I'm just using my knife because it just takes two minutes. So finally chop the parsley leaves, then go ahead and remove the leaves of a few sprigs of rosemary and finally chop those up as well too. Combine everything together in a bowl, then go ahead and if you want to, you can add a little pinch of crushed red pepper flakes to it and lots and lots of good quality Greek olive oil. We have some in the shop if you wanna get some. Anyway, about a half a cup of olive oil is what you need, but put as much as you like in there and a nice pinch of salt, mix that all together. And this stays fresh in the refrigerator for a few days. So you can make it and put it on pretty much everything. So one thing about the Instant Pot, it did, it did pressure cook for 40 minutes, like I said, and then I did the natural release for 20 minutes. When I opened the pot, the beans were still undone. So I did close it up again and I pressure cooked it for another 10 minutes. 
did the whole natural release for another 10 minutes and then they were perfectly ready. Now with beans, they vary because the longer they sit on the shelves, the longer they're gonna take to cook. So even though I give you times, keep in mind that it might take a little bit longer or they might be ready a little bit in a little bit less time. The best thing to do if you have time and if, and if you wanna be a little bit more organized is to soak them overnight in some cool water, drain out that water the next day and then use those beans. They're gonna cook beautifully. It does work with fresh beans as well, not unsoaked, but it's just gonna kinda like, you're just gonna have to tweak the timings if you don't mind about that. It's all hands off anyway. Then once they're done, you just wanna give it a nice mix and taste it and see if it needs more seasoning. Mine did need more salt, so I went ahead and added another hefty pinch of salt. Beans really, really need salt. Salt equals flavor, you guys. Don't be afraid of it. Then it's ready to serve. You can garnish it with some fresh parsley, a little bit of oregano, or you can put the gremolata on top like I did. Serve it with some olives, some feta cheese, and some toasted bread, and you're gonna have a meal that's delicious and nutritious too. Time to do the taste test. And I didn't um, puree my tomatoes, but I suggest you do. I don't know, I'm not a huge fan of chunks of tomatoes in my soup, but I should be fine. Mmm. So delicious. So comforting and cozy. You're really gonna love it. Traditionally, this is served with a little, a little bit of vinegar instead of the, the gremolata, but I think you're gonna love this just the way I did it. The exact recipe is on the website, DimitrisDishes.com. Thank you guys so much for spending time with me today. If you wanna learn the quick version of this, that's gonna be ready in under an hour, and it uses already cooked beans, click over here and I'll see you right over there. Yes, us.